another perfect day in my hometown. Population? Not very many. The sun is shining, birds are chirping, and I'm doing a little sketching under my favorite tree. change a thing. Dad! Honey, I've got some good news and some great news. The good news is I've got a promotion. Awesome! What's the great news? We're moving! You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. my dad, Roger Baxter. He likes to be behind the wheel. He's a pilot. And that's me. My name's... Life! Yeah, Dad? I'm so excited. How about you? Aren't you looking forward to getting settled into our new place? NSM, Dad. NSM. NSM, NSM. Not so much. What? How can you not be excited about our move? Well, Dad, I just wish I could have had something to say about it. Instead of you just springing it on me. You know I hate surprises. You know, I love surprises. You have to understand, honey. It's a great place in a good school district. And I had to act fast. Ah, I know. You love adventures. Maybe you can think of this as a great adventure. Come on, Blythe. Have I ever steered you wrong? shop. Huh. Didn't notice that before. Hm. Hey, guys! It's the top apartment! Whoa! Watch it! Oops! Oh, careful! Careful! Dad! Oh, 
sorry. You startled me. Yeah, that happens. A lot. Blythestyle? So, your name is Blythestyle? No, it's Blythe Baxter. And you are? I'm Whitney Biscuit. And I'm like, Brittany Biscuit. We're, We're twins. twins. Good to know. Are you gonna, like, live here? That's what I've been told. Ah, oh, too bad. This building is lame. Are those your clothes? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, obviously you need some new ones, so if you want to go shopping with us, we'll, like, let you. I, uh, have to do anything else. I mean, uh, I have a lot of unpacking to do, so thanks, but no. Excuse me? FYI, like, we've never been told no. And OMG, now that it's happened, I don't think we particularly like, like it. Oh, look at you! Boo, 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 boo. You're such a cutie, Woody. That's what you are. Oh, yes, yes, you are. <gasps> Just look at you. <laughs> Dad! Hey, Blood! You might want to tell your father not to get used to those pets. Yeah, Littlest Pet Shop won't be around much longer. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Just saying hello. Well, just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, what do you think of our new crib, Blythe? Dad, nobody says crib anymore, unless you really mean crib, as in for babies. So, most of these are for your room, okay, hon? Sure, Dad. Hey, I couldn't help but notice you talking to a couple of girls out there. Make some new friends? I don't think so, Dad. Those girls were pretty terrible. Oh, I'm sorry, Blythe. No worries. I mean, I guess every town has them. Twins? <laughs> no. Mean Girls. True, Dad. Had him in my day, too. So glad you're not one, by the way. A twin? No, a mean girl. <laughs> Me too, Dad. Okay, Blythe, remember, this is an adventure. And I love adventures. Maybe if I just keep telling myself that, it'll come true. Or I could sing it. This is a new adventure, yes, I really love it here. I love my new room, but it sure could use some air. Maybe my axe can get it open. What the, huh? What do you know? It's a dumbwaiter elevator thingy. Heard about old buildings having these. Wow, this must go all the way down to the first floor. That music, it's calling me, luring me even. I can resist no longer. Now this is an adventure. Yeah, it's like a dust bunny convention in here. who just fell out of the wall? <laughs> How funny is that? I hope she's not hurt. Oh, I'm sure she is. I think that giant head of hers got the worst of it. Oh, dear, Russell, go check. You have experience with these sort of things. I do. Russell, just go, please. OK, OK. Ah! Hmm. She seems pretty sturdy. You're a porcupine. A hedgehog, actually. Everyone makes that mistake. <gasps> oh, good. She can sit up. <laughs> she's monkey what is happening to me animals are speaking and i can understand them wait did you just say that you can understand us <gasps> let me handle this russell <clears throat> do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth <sighs> oh, I know. So, do you have
have a name? Uh, b b b b b b Blythe. Hi. Uh, b b b b b b b b b b Blythe. Well, now we know your name, but you don't know ours. Let me introduce you to everyone with a little number I like to call. Um, oh yes, let me introduce you to everyone. Gonna tell you about a few things So just watch me go steal the show Sit on back and try to follow My name is Zoe Trent And to the full extent I'm the big star here I sing the songs I represent Yeah, 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 yeah Uh, hi, uh, I'm Pepper Clark Actually, I'm all a little bit of a star too Yeah, uh, actually, uh, a bit more of a comedian Pepper here is my good friend Ask her any knock-knock jokes Cause she's kind of a comedian And when she's happy, yeah, you can tell Just stick your nose up and give the room a quick smell. Uh, I think I just smelled it. Kind of like yeah. uh, standing right here. Yeah, that's Vinny Terry all on the floor. I'd like to say he's done, but I'm sure he's gonna get back up and dance some more. But don't you worry, he's got a heart of gold. Not very bright, but he's one of us. We're the littlest. Little pet shop pets, yeah, the littlest. Again. This is soon he'll never. He's a mongoose. He's sort of a magician, but his magic is a bit loose. Sure, he's a little grub and likes to make a fuss, but we don't mind at all because he's one of us. Little is little is pet shop pets, yeah the little is little is pet shop pets with the little is little is pet shop pets, yeah the little is little is little is pet shop pets. Sorry, Penny Lane. Um, Zoe, maybe the song should end soon. We seem to be making quite a mess here. This is Russell, Russell Ferguson. He's a little uptight and wants to get the song done. Penny Lane, are you okay? I think that's everybody, so what do you say? Here's a little bit, little bit. Pet shop pets, yeah, the little bit, little bit. Pet shop pets, we're the little bit, little bit. Pet shop pets, yeah, the little bit, little bit. Pet shop pets. have hit my head harder than I thought. I've got to get out of here. Ah! Why, hello, dear. I didn't see you come in. I'm the shop's owner, Mrs. Twombly. Welcome to my own slice of paradise, littlest pet shop. Uh, I'm Blythe. Th th these animals are, are, are singing and, and dancing. My little sweeties are singing and dancing. You kids and your music, singing and dancing. <laughs> Not only that, but they, they talk to me too. Blythe, you are a hoot. Though I must admit, the pets sometimes talk to me as well. However, the only thing they ever seem to say is, feed us, Mrs. Twombly. We're so hungry. More food, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> no, Mrs. Twombly, I mean it. The pets really did talk to me. And, and I talked to them, and, and we understood each other. Dear, you need to pull your imagination into the station. Though funny things can sometimes happen here at Littlest Pet Shop. Is this place purring? Remember to get that noisy air conditioner fixed. I like you. You're crazy. Okay, 
Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. Sure. Thursday? We'll talk then. Okay. Yep. Fine. Fine. Welcome to Littlest Pet Shop. I'm looking at possible shop locations. Right. Okay. Yep. Fine. Okay, can you hang on a minute? This is Christy. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Fine. Yep. Okay. Right. Right. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm gonna have to call you both back. Thanks. Bye. I'm so sorry. Now, where were we? You just came in and I asked if I could help you. Oh, yes. Well, I saw a sign that said you were closing. When do you think this space will be available? Well, I'm not exactly sure, dear. I, I wasn't going to decide till tomorrow. I never like to make decisions on odd-numbered days and even-numbered months. I see. Well, I'm looking to open a sweet shop, and I love this part of town. Here's my card. Could you call me when you think the space might be available? Yes, I suppose I could. I promise I'll take good care of it. Oh, gotta take this. Thanks so much. This is Christy. Right. Okay, right. <sighs> I'm really going to miss this place. Did you hear that? Littlest pet shop is closing? Say it isn't so, Zoe. I'm afraid it's so. I don't want the Littlest Pet Shop to close. Where will we go for day camp? If only there was someone who could help us out. Someone who could understand and communicate with us. Just one person, that's all we need. Just one person. Okay, Vinny, we get it. What about Blythe? Uh, not now, Pennyling. Just one person who understands what we're saying. <laughs> What about Blythe? Not now, Penny Ling. Can't you see the gravity of the situation? What about Blythe? I got it. We need Blythe. Oh! 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 <laughs> Told you so. Wake up, Blythe. <sighs> Morning, Dad. Oh, you won't believe the dream I had. I met a talking porcupine. Hedgehog, actually. Huh? Hi. Ah! It wasn't a dream! Sorry to keep calling you a porcupine. Ah, no worries. Why can I suddenly understand pets? I mean, who can talk to pets? That's not important, Blythe. What's important is... Why? <laughs> Oh, uh, we took that moving box thingy. Dumb waiter. Hey, what'd you just call me? Blythe, we came here to ask for your help. We have to keep Little's pet shop from going out of business. What could I possibly do to stop that from happening? Oh! <gasps> this has Zoe written all over it in big sparkly fashion forward letters. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, it does look pretty good. It stinks. Oh, sorry. Guess I'm a little nervous being up here. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Life. Are you up? You don't want to be late for your first day at your new school. Okay, Dad. Come on, everybody. You've got to go. <laughs> Oh, life. Are you feeling okay? Oh, Kasop, it smells bad. Uh, better be. Uh, I feel fine, Dad. I'll be right out. Okay, down you go. Wait, life. If you don't help us, the shop will close, and we'll all have to go to largest ever pet shop, the biggest, coldest, unfriendliest pet shop in the city where we can't hang out together. The snacks are flavorless. And the squeaker toys have no squeakers. Blythe, you've got to help. Why me? You're 
you're the obvious choice. You live above the shop, you seem really nice, and... Oh yeah, you're the only person who actually understands us. Please say you'll help! Please, oh please, oh please! Okay, okay. I'll help. I have no idea what I can do, but I guess I'll think of something. Oh, one last thing. You have to save the shop by tomorrow. What the when?